الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم فعلم أنه لا إله إلا الله know that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah وستغفلذنبك and seek forgiveness in this ayah Allah سبحانه وتعالى is commanding us to know the Shahada is commanding us with Tawheed because the Shahada is the Kalima Kalima to Tawheed it is the word of Tawheed it is the key to paradise so it's absolutely wajib alayna it's an obligation upon us to know and understand the meaning of Tawheed and to know the understanding and the meaning of the Kalimat to Tawheed which is La ilaha illallah There is no God worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And that comes with ilm and those shurut la ilaha illallah the conditions, knowing the conditions of la ilaha illallah that you have to have ikhlas, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you have to have yaqeen, certainty that you have to have ilm of its meaning that you have to have sidq you know, and be truthful when you utter that testimony of faith so that requires ilm you have to have inqiyad that you want to, that you're going to practice tawheed in your life and going back to the ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us to know those things to know the meaning of la ilaha illallah and to implement the practice of la ilaha illallah of tawheed by seeking forgiveness seeking forgiveness from who? from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which means it is tawheed al-ibadah or tawheed Al-Uluhiyyah, the Tawheed of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So there is so much that we can benefit from, from very short ayat, uh, uh, short verses in the Qur'an, and beautiful Jawami al-Kalam min Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, short, concise words of wisdom from the ahadith of the Prophet وسلم, which has so much immense meaning for us and it all goes back to the divine purpose that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us for and that's to worship Him and Him alone that's ibadah, that's tawheed al-uluhiyah as well Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa ma khalaqtu al-jinn wal illa li abudun I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me letting us know what the divine purpose of why we were created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to actualize ibadah and may Allah wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and worshiping him and him alone and help us to remove those obstacles and those things which not only cause us shortcomings but that are in fact inhibitors or prohibit us uh, pro prohibit those things which prohibit us from worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly and truly and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive our sins as he subhanahu wa ta'ala has asked us and, and, and required from us and commanded us to not only worship him and him alone but turn to him in repentance and that repentance and that sorrow and that coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a way of seeking expiation for the shortcomings in our Tawheed and all of our acts of worship. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and to forgive all of our evil.